major cuts are coming to the University of New Orleans. More than half dozen programs will soon be eliminated. And with that, some members of the university staff will soon be out of work. WDSU reporter Travers Mackle live on the lakefront now uh, with the programs that are being eliminated and with the students. Say about all this, Travers. Scott, the two programs that are hit the hardest, higher education and political science. And a lot of students on this campus say that could be a crippling blow for a university with a dwindling enrollment. Several students attended the UNL press conference to announce sweeping cuts to, among other things, graduate programs in political science. This is ludicrous. Due to a sagging enrollment of 8,900 students, and in an attempt to streamline more programs to get students ready for the workforce, UNO is eliminating programs just as students are about to head into finals and break for the fall semester. There's no good time to do this. Both undergraduate and graduate education programs are hit the hardest. If the UL board approves the moves, as is expected, gone are these programs. The Early Education Undergraduate Program, the Master's in Special Education, the Ph.D. in Curriculum and Instruction, and the Ph.D. in Special Education, also eliminated the Department of Geography, as well as the Master's and Ph.D. Program in Political Science, as well as the Master's in Romance Languages. Is that we'll have an array of programs that meet the students' needs, as well as the needs of the business community. Ten teaching jobs will also go away. All adjunct professors and more could follow. Four library positions will also be eliminated. The move should save about $4 million, and this is only phase one of a three-phase plan. But University President Dr. Peter Foss says the recommendations made by a university committee made up of faculty and deans approved the tough decisions to keep UNO afloat. If you're really going to, to, to do that and take that, that, that uh, project on seriously, then let's do it. All students with more than 60 hours of work completed and the program set to be cut will be allowed to finish their work, which is good for PhD student Don Marshall, but it doesn't soften the blow. It says that UNO is, going, is on the wrong track and we're going down and there's nothing to do to save it. That, that's what it says. Dr. Foss says all faculty members affected have been notified. He also points out that the UL board meets later this month. That's why the timing of this is happening now in December. Reporting on your side on the lakefront at UNO, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.